In this video, I'm going to show you how you can flatten an employee manager hierarchy in your Power BI reports. I'm going to show you how to flatten reporting lines, count the number of direct reports, and how flattening helps you explore your data a lot easier. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So flattening an employee dataset is actually something that I covered last year, where we looked at the path DAX function to visualize the organization tree. However, in this video, we'll try to cover an updated version of that solution, focusing more on the hierarchy itself using DAX. So here's the sample reports that we're going to work with today. It just simply has one table, just to keep it simple. This is the table employees. So we have a list of all the employees that we have in this fictional company along with their IDs the manager ID, so who are their managers, and their positions in the organization. So how you would read this is, for example, you will see that, uh, let's say Janet is the CEO of the company. You can see Janet will have three direct reports, head of sales, head of marketing, and head of operations, because that's where the ID is of Janet, 412. And then you'll have Christina, who reports to uh, James, who is the head of sales in the company and so on and so on. And let's say one of our main objectives at the moment is to flatten this. So we will want to have separate columns for which level they are in the reporting chain. So in this case, what we will start with is by writing and creating a new column here. We'll just name this one path like this, and then we'll use the path function. Now it will ask for an ID and a parent column name, which in this case, we will it will just be the ID and the manager ID. So this function essentially does the majority of the legwork for you. It creates a list of manager IDs going up towards the CEO, separated by this pipe. Now from here in the old video, we actually just used a custom visual to show the names on the path instead of the ID. Now in this case, we're going to use DAX to convert the IDs into names instead before we try to separate them into different columns. So I've pre-created the DAX code already because it's a little bit lengthy. So I'm gonna just paste it here. And if you want to get a copy of this DAX code, you can simply get the download link to this file in the description box below. So if I hit enter here, you will see that here we will keep the same path, but instead of the manager IDs, you will have the names on those parts. So to explain this DAX code a little bit, it essentially creates a virtual table, looking up individual IDs in the path. Then it does a lookup back to the employees table to get the names. And then finally on the concatenate, it recreates the concatenation with the pipes. So using the names instead in ascending order. This gives us the result of what we're looking for of seeing manager names instead of IDs. So now that we have converted this path IDs into names, let's now create different columns to flatten our data. So we're going to create a couple of new columns here. We'll name, name this one level one, and then we will use this function path item to find a specific position or a specific manager in a specific position in our hierarchy. So in this case, we will just say we want to reference the path that we've just created, the path column. And then the position for level one will be the first level. So what it does is it looks at the path and it will pick the first name in this position. So in this case, it will all be Janet. And it's gonna be fairly obvious if I create new levels here, you will see what the difference is. Change the title to two. And then we're looking at the second path. So you will see now it will get the it will get the name of the manager on that level in our path. So we're gonna continue creating a couple more. Name this one three. And then lastly, 
four. So at the moment in this fictional organization, we only have four levels. So great. Now that that's done, our hierarchy is pretty much flattened. So how do you use this? Well, the easiest way that you can use this flattening is by putting it into a drop-down slicer. So let's let's show that, for example. Let's, let's bring in the table first, just to show you what the results will look like We're using a drop-down. We will have, let's say, managers, and we won't summarize this so we can get the full IDs. Something like this. And then for our levels, we're gonna put them in the same levels here. Change this into a slicer. Instead of list, we'll use a drop down. And then we will rename this one slicer header. We'll name this one, let's say reporting lines, something like this. Here we go. So this is how you would use this, right? Let's say you got a question saying you need to look for anyone who is in Josh's reporting line. So Josh, as you can see, he's the head of operations and we want anyone that reports under him. So from this drop down, we will simply look for Josh. Josh is right there. And when I select him, you can see that you will have a few people reporting to Josh by the manager ID 415. 4 and 5, but you will see that not only his direct reports were selected, but also anyone else reporting to anyone reporting to Josh. So it goes down a few more levels to see anyone reporting to Josh or within his reporting line, essentially. So this example is pretty simplistic because we only have four levels in my hierarchy, but in real world, realistically, there will be a lot more levels, seven, nine, 11, and you will ultimately have more employees. This makes it really easy for you to explore the reporting lines in your organization. If you do have a lot of levels or a lot more employees in your organization, I find that turning on the search feature on the dropdown really helps. So that allows you to look for certain people by just searching here, like you would in a normal, let's say a browser, and you can simply select from there. Another nifty code that might help you is a simple count of direct reports for all of your managers. And it's actually pretty simple through DAX. So let me show you. I'm going to just make some space for this new column that we're going to create. We'll start with new column and we'll name it direct reports. We're gonna start with a variable to essentially catalog the current employee ID, which we will use and reference in our return. So we will say calculate and give me count the number of rows in employees. Then we'll use the filter context here to only count the number of employees that uh, has the manager or our employee, current employee as their manager. So in this case, we're going to say ignore all filters and we'll say anyone that has manager ID of our current context. So what this will do is essentially count the number of employees, but only for those that are being managed by our current employee. So if I just hit enter here and I will show you how that looks like. So there we go. I'm going to just show everyone regardless. of if they have a direct report or not. And you can see here that it gives us, uh, well, it, yeah, it does give us how many direct reports each of the employees have. So Janet as the CEO, she has three people reporting to her directly, which are the head of positions. And that's related for this short video. I hope you now know how easy it is to flatten your data sets using the path function in Power BI. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. 
If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.